got one. I'm currently looking for new quadrant, looking for signs of life like we did before. Uh, I think we just find a spot that's holding multiple fish and just go fishing. Okay? What we learned there before is where there was rock bass, obviously there's bait there, there's rock bass, there was smallmouth, we caught our pike, we caught our walleye, we caught every fish within a 60 yard stretch. Why? Because there was bait. Fish location presentation, right? So I'm cruising 20 to 40 feet right now, going down a main lake structure that's got a flat coming out, probably some rocks. Or Weed transitions, just looking for fish, trusting my electronics, trusting the uh, guys that I have to come up with a strategy. We've got to find the fish first, then we'll figure out how to catch them. So search mode, 15, 20 minutes here, tops. Find the best looking spot and go fishing. Go, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Guiding, while to some people on the outside it might seem like a glamorous thing, it's a lot of work. But every time somebody steps into my boat for a guide trip, it's it's their trip. This is their trip. And spending the day on the water with people, it's, just, it's really a dream come true. It's just a truly special experience. Setting the hook, netting the fish, high-fiving people, and that's truly the passion. Yeah. What drives me is fishing different species and making memories with people. It's, it's a phenomenal thing. And that's what keeps me coming back. That's what fuels my fire for guiding. Every day is something new and seeing the smiles on people's faces when they catch that personal best makes it all worthwhile. And I love watching kids get addicted to uh, fishing. We are a family. Between all of us, we spend countless hours on the water. And at the end of the day, it's about making sure that the people that were in your boat learned something and enjoyed that experience and made some memories along the way. Get him. There you go. Got him. Got him, boy. That's a nice one. There. Beautiful fish. 31 and 280. Woo, woo, woo. Nice one. Yeah. Here we go, Holy, watch him eat on there, too. Oh, shit. Down the top of the foot. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful looks like musky, those spots. Oh, got it. That's a big fit. For the release. <laughs> the Guide Life with Leisure Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by these great partners. Or? No, it's too shallow. Oh. You can't drive over there. It's too late. You got a 
this thing gonna jig in a leech or jig in a night crawler? It's up here. Uh leech. That is a leech. Yeah. It's better than 12 and 3 quarter, it looks like. Is that a boy? Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. close. Build small job. New species. I think she's going to be under 12. Say 13, 13 and a quarter. 13 and a quarter. Nice. Great. Yeah, if you can get it to folks there. time holding the fish. Boy, Jim. Yeah. Nice job. Pound for pound, I know this is a little guy, but pound for pound, one of the greatest fighting freshwater fish. Now we need a pike. Skinny guy, you think they need more. Twenty-one rounded up. Twenty-one rounded up. Okay. You Let's see him. He's in rough shape. He's rough. We gotta get him back. The other side. <laughs> Don't look at me. That guy catches them all. I do is drive the boat. So the um, literally just didn't even wiggle the, just put it right in front of the fish and just sat there. Didn't jig it or anything, and that's what it bit. So maybe something super subtle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good idea. Throw a. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Get hit your leech in the head. Piece of worm. You keep the perch off the
might be deep enough for the drive over them actually. Because these ones now these ones move slid up a little bit deeper. Uh nope. You're actually pretty much landed right on them. Might be a little shallow though. I don't know if it'll matter. There you go. Oh yeah. I got the net now, buddy. What you got, Murph? Oh, it's nice fish. Walleye, huh? It is. Nice one. I think I can half credit for this if we get it in. Jim, you want your bobber back? Yeah. Don't let it get too far. There's not a hell of a lot of line on this one. No. <laughs> Getting a little bigger. <laughs> the pliers are the, the no, yeah, the scalpel. Well, if I leave that. If I leave that in there, I'm going to get some extra inches out of it. <laughs> okay, what do we got? 23? 23. 23, just barely touches. Take an upgrade on these. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh, beauty. She's a beaut, Clark. Oh, 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 oh. Angry little devil, too. I get my hand in her mouth. measurement on that bad boy. Nice. Take 24 and 3 quarter on that. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Alright. Get her back out. She's okay. <laughs> yeah. There she goes. <laughs> nice. Wow. I like it. Thanks for letting me catch that one, Jim. Absolutely. Here, you want to switch for a second? 
<laughs> That's all right. We need to keep chucking this. We need a pike. <laughs> you keep fishing. Yeah. This one's shorter than yours, so. Think so? Yeah. We could have kept catching 18 inch walleyes and kept upgrading. No. Well, okay, so it's each species. What about each those species. Reeds yeah. over there. Yeah. Where's the cutoff? That point looks like it might be in that other quadrant. Yeah, okay. that point is kind of a... There's a marker. Got to be weeds in this arm up here. Yeah, well, you got some reeds right off yeah. of that. Yeah. Name of the game is we gotta do a multi-species deal, yeah. right? So we, you got the gator. Now we want to try and find something else. Okay. Stop into Ray's Sport and Marine today to check out our remaining 2022 in-stock inventory, or place your 2023 order with guaranteed price lock until September 1st. After September 1st, prices are subject to change, so now is the time to reserve your new boat. From tillers to side councils and full windshield models, we sell them all. Our sales and service team is here to help you get on the water. Race Sport and Marine, 896 Northeast 1st Street, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. So, but I'll measure mini me. Oh, yeah, I use 24 and a half. 24 and a half? Yep. Upgrade. Oh. There's inches. What you? I think we should go to the other shore. I was going to say, I think we should go hunt down to school of walleyes or find some weeds where there's some bass or something and mm -hmm. get uh, 
I mean, I appreciate you improving your score by one and a half inches, but well, that's, that's I think there's crucial. I think there's a better strategy. Bass. Smally? I don't know. I didn't. It just came up the surface. I'm guessing so with the way he's pulling. Comes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Hey. Every little sharp stick in the eye. Right. Gotta love that. Might be longer. We'll find out here. Yeah. Good time. There's a bunch. Looks like there's some fish sitting on top of these weeds back here. Oh. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. Dang it. That sucks. Hmm. Well, I'm ready if I see another one there. What's that? It's right underneath us. There's one, yeah, there is one. It's right, basically one right underneath us. That's it. Yeah. We're at 21 and that thing is 15 feet down. So it'll be where our other bobber stops at. finicky. Morning started off good, but in fact, quadrant two started off good. I think we were catching every fish that we hooked up with, but uh, what is that, Murph? Three or four in a row that we've dropped? Try it again. Just shy of 13. So 13? Is it over three quarters? Yeah. Throw the camera I did. Not huge, but fun little guy. What's up? Comes towards our species. Sure does. Huh? Got the walleye, uh, largemouth bass. Kind of slowed down in the rain here, but we're getting a couple bites, so gonna keep with them here. Yeah. We're filming a fish right now. <laughs> Just, I don't know. What do you think, Murph? I think it's a gator. Right, no, I agree, but with the bigger chub, he keeps running. You let him keep going, you think? I would, uh. So don't feel him anymore, just take him and just feel him down. Thunderstorm, Bob's sitting on the highest point of the boat. He's got a rod up in the air. I'll probably step down a bit.
and up towards the front. Big fish, huh, Bob? Yeah, I think so. We're buried in sand grass. That's a nice one. That'll that's, improve that's, our score, yeah, huh? Yeah, those can do some inches. Okay. Head away, Bob. Okay. Bob? Hey, good Thanks. job, Murph. So we were seeing big fish, and we just kept going over and over, missing, and Bob finally connects on a nice gator. I don't have a tail measure long enough, Bob. <laughs> We're gonna have to do the old mark. Mark like we did before. Well, look at that. So it's probably, what, an inch past the board? Or, wait, wait, let me get my... Just mark that spot. Okay. I'm gonna mark with this line. Whatever, just go one inch. So, what's that board? 34, right? Is that 34? 30. So I'd say 35, huh? Gotcha. Here you go, Bobby. You want to hold your, hold your big fish? Got it. Not bad, huh? We've been marking these fish and going over them. And, uh, you know, they're suspended four or five, six feet off the bottom and just pulling those chubs along, just lifting up those chubs and dropping them down. And those fish are, when you lift them up, they're swimming up and smoking them. So, I'll get this guy back here. Good boy, Bobby. It's fun. Yeah, it's good Appreciate game. you, Murph. Joe, what do you think? Do we have to quit? What? Joe says we're good. Oh, it's like, we can barely even see it on the lake. Oh, are you in three? It sucks the sun. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's really nice over here. <laughs> we're going to get fucking pounded. We're going to go to the landing. All right, well, we got, uh, what do we got, 15 minutes? We'll just meet at the landing for the end of this break. Okay. So All right. Okay. Bye. Hey. It's been a grinder session. We got a little weather to deal with. We're fishing outside some weeds and getting too deep. Uh, but uh, Ernster just called. He wanted to call it a day because it's rained on us. Parade a little bit over there. But uh, we're going to make a little adjustment instead of meeting in the lake. Uh, we got about 10 more minutes here to fish. And then we're going to meet at the landing. Uh, of course, it'll be nice and sunny over there by the time we get there. So that'll work out just fine. So period two is coming to a wrap. It's going to be tough for us to catch our other two species in 10 minutes, but we got a couple uh, quality fish to uh, keep us in the hunt here. So Chris is on the board. That's good news. Once he gets hot, she's all over. Right, Chris? Once you get hot, it's all over. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Huge! I told you, Whitney's gonna eat up. Nice. 11.37. Eight minutes to go. Woo! Like they say, 21 <laughs> dodge storms going one foot. Of fish must move shallow when they uh, got one going.
Uh, we got 60 minutes of severe rain and thunderstorm. So we're gonna head to the landing here uh, and uh, figure out what we're gonna do. And the period, period ends in uh, two minutes. updates or upgrades well so obviously we're on a little uh, little rain delay here but we got done with uh, period two so uh, we only got one species we got one well we caught some gators but we got did get one 35 incher so that was a it's got some inches but I think we had a, another decent walleye on but come on but that was it I don't like that part of the lake <laughs> <laughs> uh, our boat uh, did not upgrade a fish, did we? No, we got a walleye. we got a bigger walleye, but not big enough by the sounds of it. So we have 21 inch walleye upgrade. Uh, we did catch another bass, another pike, um, but uh, we don't have a leader in any of the categories. So, but we have the we have one of each species still. So that's good. We were in sector three. Three. Sector three. <laughs> we caught three species. Oh. 24 and 3 quarter inch walleye. Is that the biggest walleye? I believe so. Okay. 13 and a quarter inch largey and Same size smiley. 13 and a quarter inch smallie. No pike. So you have three species? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys have three species? One from yeah. the last. Biggest gator. Yeah. 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 Biggest walleye. You've got all four. You have all four. four. Yeah. So we need those for total inches, but. We need to upgrade. We got to yeah. strategize and figure out which one's going to help us the most. If we can upgrade and target that, to the, hopefully the third quarter we get one. So we have a little bit of rain coming still, but we're going to try to power through it. Uh, we're hoping for a two-hour period, but if we have to shorten it, we we will. And uh, we'll have a recap when we're done. Can we buy so, some creek chubs? Yeah. <laughs> Just pay Jeremiah. <laughs> He'll trade you for a race. He, he looks like he <laughs> needs a, one of those little rubber ducky inner tubes around him. So. Oh, there it is. What time is it? 12.36 or 2.30? What time is it? 12.36 and 50 seconds. Okay. 2.36. Two hours. Developed from the latest technology, Blackfish Technical Apparel outperforms, so anglers have gear that they can trust in, no matter the conditions.
trying to get him to commit. Yeah. Still chomping on it? Yep. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Gator. Well, not bigger. One species down on the spot. That's what we're good at. I thought you might add a walleye there for a minute. It's kind of staying down. Oh, jeez, that's a tanker. Yeah, it is. This is the upgrade we might need. Still, yeah, still upgrade. That's a fatty. Yes, sir. She's a big Clark. I like it. need to measure, right? Or do we need to measure? No, I think for the... 20, 26 and a half. 26 and a half? Yep. One species down on the spot, buddy. Seventeen. Measured on the other side. Uh, oh yeah, we can. Almost go 17 and a half. I don't know though. That's a fat one. It is a fat one. I think we're just gonna have to go 17 and a quarter. Yeah. Whew! Nice. Chunky little guy. Toby just hooked up, dropped a big minnow down. Yeah, come to the back here. This is a small one. Is it? I dropped a big creek chub down there. Trying to go for big fish right now, so I'm not really sure what he has going. Other than his fighting good. Nice northern pike. A little bit of an upgrade. Right in that corner lips. Yep. 
There you go. Fish on. This is while I do. Spinning like a pike, isn't it? Yep. Oh. It's a multi-species tournament, not a pike tournament. Murph. Yeah. I don't know if they told us the rules correctly or. Pike master. So what was our biggest pike? 25 before. Now we're at 20, 28. 28 with that. He cross. Yeah. yeah. 28. 28. Game three inches. That's a good start. Oh yeah. Let's get a bigger one and a bigger walleye. 28, another one down there. I was holding that about six feet off the bottom. Get the hook out of that bad boy, you think? What's that? Bite it or? Yeah, it's. We're gonna get a walleye one of these days, Murph. We got walleye. Oh, he came off, and then a bluegill. Oh, <laughs> what? That was it a walleye. It was a walleye, right? Yeah, I know. Had a walleye on, and they come up with a bluegill. Go figure that. Out. On a jig wrap. On a jig wrap. <laughs> How long did you give that guy totally about ten? About that long. Good Yeah, feels good. Oh, doesn't feel overly heavy. A uh, little pike, smaller than the one you got. Got it. No. no. He cut it right off. No. Look at that. He had half of it. I don't think it'll help us any, but nice little northern pike hitting the creek chubs. Would be probably two footer or something like that. And toss them back and go for the bigger one.
What happened, Bob? I feel like, uh... Did you have it on for a little bit or what? Yeah, I mean, there was definitely a fish there. Something on here. Good one? Ah, it's hard to tell. It doesn't feel huge. It feels like the last one. Maybe it's a bigger walleye. I'm kind of head shaking like this. Yeah, it is a walleye. It's a walleye. It'd be an upgrade. Maybe that'd be a 21. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Did I hit him? Yeah, he's pretty close. Probably 22 maybe. Nice. Nice job, Chris. Nice. Yeah. Nice little wall I grabbed the creek chub. Actually took it before uh, before the sinker even got to the bottom, so you got a player's handy, Toby. Uh, yep, I need Whatever it is, it's a big wall it's a big walleye. Is it? I can't see him. Yeah, it's a big walleye. Damn walleyes. <laughs> that's going to be close to an upgrade. That's an upgrade. There it is. That'll play. Nice. Nice work. Nice. That's a big one. Holy cow. Just like that. Anybody else want to catch any big walleyes today or just me? <laughs> in the lake and try to catch another. They seem to be biting after the storm. I don't know if she's be no. Oh no? She ain't. No. Oh, Twenty four and, four and, and a half. half. Pinch out of him. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Now he's dead. I had a guy drop a 27 inch twice. Oh. Got him? Yep. Got Murph. Come on, no head shake. <laughs> Came down there. Oh, I ain't liking it. I ain't liking it. I ain't feeling very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's spinning. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Chuck, you were right. It is a school bass. Hit 
Hey Bob, give me a hand here a second. What do you need? I'm gonna hold up, come here and hold up on this. Just hold up on this line a little bit so I can see. Not an upgrade. Good diversion though. Okay, we're getting good at catching beer. Pressure's on, Toby. I don't think it's that big. I think it's bigger than the tank. Toby's doing the dance right now. Just didn't give him any line. No, I seen you just slam into him right away. Come on. Big fish. Gotta be 20 years. <laughs> oh boy. Same size. This is gonna be a game of inches, you know. Seriously, I feel like someone's gonna win this by a half inch today. It's everybody's getting similar fish, you know. Um, yeah. It's gonna take one real big one, or it's it's gonna be real close. Yeah. I think that. Okay. Maybe. I think that's a pretty good I think that one's bigger. Twenty nine and a quarter. Yep. Oh, oh wait. Stretch it. I got him stretched. Twenty nine and a half. Twenty nine and a half. Right, an inch and a half. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> that's like a rocket. All right. Got a little something going on in here anyways. Yeah. 29 and a half. It's an inch and a half. Right? Yeah. 29 and a half minus 28 is... Something. <laughs> There's a reason I teach phi ed, not math. All right. I mean, we've upgraded a good five inches so far. I'm gonna let it eat it a little bit, I think. Yep. Might yep. as well. Someone want It'll to take this it. thing? Yep. You got it, Colby? Yep. A jumper. I don't know. I want a horse now. Ease them in there. Yeah. Hey, hey, That's an upgrade, isn't it? Oh yeah. That's an upgrade. Oh Ooh, yeah. That's for sure. Here we go, boys. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Let's go. That's a big dragon play up there. <laughs> now we're talking. That's it. And you? I might. Right. Be... Hey, backseat driver. Know your role. The drag was so loose. Yep, that's what happened is when I set the hook, it just pulled all the drag out. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> be a pike. Be a pike. That's a pike. Yep. Yes. Yes. Ah! <laughs> a hard earned pike. <laughs> this is the hardest pike we've ever worked <laughs> for in our lives. <laughs> Look at that thing is gone too. He's he's about to 
32. Can we? It's 32 all day. Yeah, 32. I can, that's what we're getting out of it. 32. What was the last one? 31? Let's see it. Nice creek chubby eating pike right there. We're in a school of pike. A few walleyes in there. Got, got some good sized chompers on them. They're just shredding those creek chubby. Better get back to it. We got a little window here. Yeah, you handle them, Jim. Perfect. <laughs> What did I say, 25 incher? Yeah, he said 25 inches. <clears throat> He's gonna be closer to 24, but. Not 20, 23. 23 and a quarter? Yeah, 23 yep. and a quarter. Nice. Hey, it'll work. It'll we'll take order. her. We needed that. Yes, we did. That was a hard-earned pike. Holy cow. Good work, Chuck. Yeah, no. It might have just been, I mean, it was definitely a fish there, obviously, but it might have just been in some of the sand grass. Uh, so. Bummer. It's gonna be a bass. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, it is yeah. a big bass. Over 16. <laughs> Another upgrade. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah, late yes. season rally. This third period rally is brought to you by Swanson's. <laughs> Jeremiah this morning stopped by at what time were they open for you? They're open. I got there at about 5:30. They were open. 5:30. Coffee's on. Bait's nice and fresh. These creek chubs are like crack you to these fish here and uh, I don't know if it's post storm or what but the bite here or maybe it's this section of the lake but we uh, we're having a lot of fun setting some hooks and getting them now so we're moving we're moving in the right direction the moving company nice work is that gonna be an 18 19 yeah it's gotta be at least 18 where's the chunky Fatty. monkey <laughs> that's what we needed right there Ooh, where is he? Eight. Oh, a little over 18. 18 and a little over 18. 18 and a quarter. That's another two and a quarter inch upgrade. 18 and a quarter. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's a little upgrade. Let's see him. Fat fish. Species yeah, number nice three bass. of the Nice owl. bass. Hmm. Really nice bass. A little bit of everything sitting out here. Nice. All right, get them back. 18 and a quarter. Over to the bottom. Nice. And upgrade. 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 18.25. Two and a quarter inch. Bucket upgrade. bass. Moving up. Yeah. Honestly, the only real smaller fish we have right now is a little, uh, little smallmouth. Small if we can get a bigger smallmouth, we're gonna have pretty good quality in, uh, in everything we got. Got a decent. We could get bigger on the walleye, but I mean it's respectable. Just never know. They're biting. We're in a school and storm passed. We came about, came back out. Didn't know if we should leave or go. Or, you know, go back out and fish are biting. Rain's holding off, so let's get them. Upgrade. 
Hopefully they're not biting for anybody else. Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> probably just kept up. Let's see if anyone's home. Nope. But whatever that oh something just hit it on the way up. There you go. <laughs> oh then it come off. Oh That'd be a gator. Well, we're kind of eliminating the 12 inch fish by using 12 inch toothbrush. That feels more like a smallmouth than a walleye. Come on, big walleye. 25, 12. Come on, purple mouth. I can't see it. Oh, it's another pike. Yeah. This is kind of dead. Gator. Real into that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to save the middle so we can. Oh, stop. Ouch. What do you think, Dobes? This is pretty relaxing, you know. I don't know. I think we're doing awesome. There's fish everywhere down here. This is a, a cool little deal. I'm learning a little bit about the drop shot today. I don't know how to tie one up. I don't know how to use one, but I know they work, so I'm going to have to figure that stuff out. Seems to, work, pretty good. <laughs> Seems to work pretty good. Seems to work. Yeah, cool. It's a cool lake. A lot of fish. Tons of fish in this lake. Eat it. I guarantee whatever eats this is going to be bigger than 23 and a quarter. <laughs> I don't know, that last minnow you had was pretty impressive too. It wasn't near status of this one. Look at this thing. <laughs> Ooh, that's up there, Is it a less molly? Yeah. Same size? Oh, yeah. Bigger than 13, isn't it? Bigger than 13. Maybe it's one out lot. I think it's at least 14. It should be a little up there. There's going to be a bunch in there. There's one. That's a good one. Yes, Molly. Oh, I It'll be an upgrade. Maybe not. Yeah. We got uh, fifteen. Right? Yeah. Fifteen. We'll upgrade on the small moth. I think there's a whole school of them out there though. There get a few more of them. Get one of the big ones in there. Bobber. What would you say it was? 15. You still see him sitting there? What's up? That's 15. Right in the yeah. Here's one. 40 feet. Where's that? Is that school still there? Looks like there's a bunch moving around. I don't know if those rock bass. Oh, that's right where I cast it now, the small mouth. How deep are they, Toby? Uh, 15 feet. I think 12 would be perfect. How about 40? So we have. Yeah, find it, baby. Oh yeah! <laughs> what do you got there? Did you get that? I think. Oh, we, that thing just come flying out of the water. Oh.
Yeah, okay. My stomach is full. Well, it's 2.14. No, it's 2.15. I think we're supposed to be done. We gotta clarify that. Is it 2.15 or 2.30? Nice. Nice fish. Nice. Oh, that's right down to the wire too, isn't it? There was, uh, you could just see some ripples of some bait fish right there. Oh, he's choked it. Yeah, you got it down. You got a pliers? Nice. This one's not too bad. Come on, buddy. There it is. Nice, hey, bleeding a little bit. Get them on the board. Hey, we're up there. Perfect. Good? Yep. Be cross. Cross. And back one. Where are we at? 17 and, a half 17 and a half. Pinch the nose anymore. We got about 17 and a half. There. Yep. 17 and a half. Smally. Suspend it out. This little upgrade. All right. Seventeen and a half. Four inches. The wrap. There you go. Look at the net there. Through in the clutch for us, buddy. There you go. There you go. Huh? But I, don't huh? Think it's, I don't think it's big enough. Well, hey, but we got a species. We got another species. Healthy looking walleye. We'll measure them. What you got there? Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is nice oh, one too. Oh, Shiza. God dang it. <laughs> Twenty-one and a is it getting a quarter or not? Yeah, it's a quarter. Okay, so it's twenty-one and a half. Is that one nice job, buddy. And two, that's two, two thirty-six. They're right back. They're Good job, boys. <laughs> Time to go.
17 and a half. That's a huge upgrade. So all four species, third period upgraded upgrade. by several inches. Yep. So we're in the hunt for sure. But we not may not have one. Well, that might win big a smallie. Uh, that one, that one should. Yeah. Unless you got one, unless you got one on a big tree stub or something. Otherwise. Right. So we got a good shot at it. Yep. Lines Let's in, see. boys. That was a lot of fun. It was. <laughs> Wanna open that up? Well, it's a disaster, but there's plenty of room for this disaster. What a fun day. We had a little rain delay. We're back out here. We just finished period three. We got all four species, decent quality fish in all four species. So our total inches, we got to be up close to pushing 90 inches. Yeah, I would say close. For four fish. Respectable. How about This we'll find out at the weigh-in. Here we are, 2022, just finished the Guide Wars at Lake X. Like we talked about, this lake was split up into three parts. We started in zone one, two, and three. We started in zone three, zone one, zone two. So we're gonna share what we caught today. Again, the, the formula today was to catch up to four species, the longest of each you can. Total sum of the uh, inches of fish would be the winner for this year's Guides War. So we're gonna start with Bay One. <laughs> where did you guys, uh, where did you What did you do and uh, well, total inches? We, so our three, our three biggest, we got uh, we had a 35 northern, uh, 19 and a half largemouth, and the walleye was 21 and a half. 21 and a half. Yeah. So that gives us a total of 76 inches. Oof, those are nice fish. That's the thing about this lake too, right? Like, there's a lot of nice quality in this, oh, yeah. in yeah. this lake. Super fun lake to fish. It'd be a fun, fun lake to take people out on. Yeah. yeah. No smallie. Uh, no smallies. No, no smallies. Nope. We started in sector two, and uh, our fish went like this. We had a 13 and a quarter smallie, a 24 and three quarter walleye, a 17 and a quarter largemouth bass, and a 23 and a quarter pike, which gave us a total of 78.5 total inches. And yes, we probably caught. I don't know, eight, nine, ten walleyes today. Yeah, yeah. It's lots of yeah. bluegills. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Great lake. So that puts us out of the lead. And uh, we started right out here off the landing in uh, zone three and uh, team three. We had a uh, uh, we had a good third quarter, third period. We had a 32 inch pike, 21.75 walleye, 18 and a quarter largemouth. And a 17 and a half inch small mouth, Ooh. all in the last hour and a half. Total of 89 and a half. Sandbaggers. <laughs> if we put away the we put away the plastics and brought out some meat and changed our uh, game a little bit. But the uh, hula popper at the end, I think uh, as we saw on the show, that was a sweet bite. That that top water bite, uh, small mouth at the very end was literally the last five minutes. So that was that put us over the top because we had like a 13 inch smallie before that and and uh, fun ending to our day. So. Thanks everybody for coming. Thanks for watching. And on uh, behalf of everybody, this is the guide life. It's our life. We love it. We'll see you next year. Leisure Outdoor Adventures would like to thank all their sponsors for their support in making the guide life happen. Nice work, boys. Nice work. Good tip. Whatever. Yeah. How old is he right now? 20 bucks a pop, right? 20 bucks a head? <laughs> Good job. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Thanks, Jeff. Hula popper. Nice work. Nope. Who had a hula popper? Choke. Oh, he had on. <laughs> the thing was down. <